Equity Action Committee, www.defendingwisconsin.org. The video you are about to see shows a violation of our civil rights. Here's the ticket I received today. What happens in the video is we're standing on the first floor rotunda holding a sign. Uh, you'll see what the sign says in the video. It's nothing uh, obscure or profane. An officer approaches us. Uh, he asks us to uh, go down to the ground floor because apparently we're not able to hold signs in the first floor, despite the fact that it's a direct violation of freedom of speech. And so we say, um, you know, unfortunately, the Constitution means more to us than Mike Hipsch's orders. And we continue. And so uh, as you watch this civil rights violation, enjoy the video and please share it with everyone you know. And please go to www.defendingwisconsin.org. Thanks. How's it going? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. And what's the justification for taking our sign down? I'm not arguing with you, I'm telling you. Please go downstairs and take it downstairs. What happens if we don't? Yeah. You want me to grab your side? I'm telling you right now, go upstairs. Um, what about the First Amendment? What about the court order that specifically says policies and procedures in place on January 28, 2011? Was there a policy or procedure in place on January 28, 2011? We don't know if here's I don't understand what the rules are. Actually I have a copy of it in here. It says January twenty eighth, twenty eleven. I've asked you twice now. Are you gonna take it downstairs or not? What's I don't understand what the justification is. The demonstration area is downstairs. Okay. Downstairs in the ground floor rotunda. Right. Okay. I asked you now three times. Please take it downstairs. Mm -hmm. Under what authority, though? Because I abide by the it's Constitution. A DOA, it's a DOA rule for, for demonstration. Right? Please take it downstairs. Okay. Or what's going to happen? What? I mean, those people. Will you, are, cite, will you give us a citation okay, or arrest us or what? Because I, I just want to know. If, you, if you're saying. I'm violating a DOA rule, yep. and it's against Capitol building rules. I would, I will yeah, consider it. We've asked nice, would consider nicely. It. Well, right. you can consider so, all you want. I'm telling you, go downstairs, please. Okay. Okay. Or what's? I just need to know well, what's going to happen. Obviously, can you see what this says right there? Yeah. Thank you. All right. I asked you now four times. If you get downstairs now, please. What? What? But what's going to happen if I do that? Because here's You're here's acting let like me, a child here. Okay. No, I've asked, let, I've no asked, I'm not acting like. Let me. Comply, okay? okay. I promise. All right. This is this is my point of view. Okay. This is a public building, right? This is freedom of speech. Every yeah. Supreme Court ruling has said holding a sign, which is political speech, it, you, we have to have free speech in this country, right? I'm not doing anything. I'm not calling attention to myself. I'm not impeding traffic in the building. I'm not preventing people from coming and going. The building can operate freely. And everything, right? So me holding this sign is political speech. So what you're saying is, I can only have political speech on the ground floor. Is that correct? That's on the Constitution. The Supreme Court's not going to back that up. I'm not saying I'm going to go to the bother of getting a lawyer and going through the court system, getting the ACLU to tell you and your bosses that this is unconstitutional. But it is. I know it is. DOA can have all the rules they want. That doesn't mean the rules are constitutional. So my holding a sign which is containing political speech in a public building is protected by the First Amendment. So that's that's what's going on in my head. I understand what's going on in your head is you want, these are these rules, your job is to enforce the rules and you want us to go downstairs. Yeah. But I'm telling you, sure in my head, I'm thinking I have a First Amendment right to tell people my political views in a public building, in an open public building. So, in a building in which. Okay, uh, enough of the. Enough of the yeah. Enough of this, okay? Are you going to go downstairs? Or do I have to get a bunch of officers up? Right here. You know, people are right here. 
policies, yes, and they're leaving right now. Just they're on the floor. Illegal. I'd be more than happy to and obey the law. Would you like me to hold? Would you pull out your officer's card? Yeah. But I'd like to hold it. I'd like to see where this goes because it is unconstitutional. I'm sorry, I respect your position as a police officer, but I obey the law and the law says... Is it accusing? Is that what you're saying? I'm refusing to not follow the law. I'm refusing to uphold an unconstitutional order. Now, if you do end up having to arrest us, it'll be the most peaceful arrest and friendly arrest you've ever made. I can guarantee you that. Well, I don't want my constitutional rights... Well, I don't want my constitutional rights to be violated. Jeremy, how many... Exactly, but this is... It's getting to the point where it's getting ridiculous. Where they're restricting where we can go and where we can't go. And that's an unconstitutional order. And Mike Hipsch doesn't give me orders, period. Okay. He has a right to do it. Well, I'm not going to... So if the red dot's up, it's recording? Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, how's it going, Officer James? Good, good. I was just explaining, hey, you know what? I'm upholding my constitutional rights. And if you guys have to arrest me, it'll be the most peaceful and friendly arrest you've ever made. I just ask that you could say the same. But I'm not... I'm not dropping this down. I'm not going down to the first floor because certain rights are worth standing up for. And certain rights are worth fighting for. And not fighting physically. Issue is citation. Well, it won't hold up in court. You do realize that this citation is going to hold up in court because it's unconstitutional. I'm a disabled veteran. I have a perfect record. I've never done anything illegal. And if you show me the law, I would be more than happy to do that. And you know what? This isn't personal. So after this, there's nothing personal against either of you officers either. Just so you know. Just so you know. This is about we both have disagreements and tactics on how to handle this. And I just choose to uphold my constitutional right by taking a step further than just saying you have to do this. I don't think we should lose it, but we have to. So we're respectfully declining your suggestion that we do it. The demonstration area is actually downstairs. The DOA rule doesn't supersede constitutional law. That's what I'm saying. And I've read the court order. I have a copy in my bag, which would require me to drop the sign. At this point, we've been told to issue citations at this point if you don't want to go downstairs. Well, that's fine. And I can sue the DOA. And we don't want to issue citations. That's not been our goal through this entire thing. Well, you know, I'd like to get a citation so I can get shot down and bring light to the fact that this is an unconstitutional order. All right. I'll be back. Thank you. Yeah, tighter. There you go. There you go. But that's unconstitutional statement. I mean, we didn't, like, barricade it. We didn't bum rush a door and come in, you know, forcefully or anything like that. We stood by it and we obeyed an unconstitutional order. But now is the time to sit back and say, we're no longer going to obey unconstitutional orders because there's higher laws than what Mike Hitchcock calls us. And that's the bottom line. And the f***ing bugger. When you reserve the rotunda for, like, a wedding, you get that floor and this floor. So when they say rotunda, you're technically still there. Yeah. Those are the things you do for demonstrations. Ground floor, first floor. So I violate the rules. Kill the bill. Kill the bill. You can straight up whisper. It goes, like, everywhere. Like, it's ridiculous. Whose house? Our house. I love the acoustics. What? I always get really freaked out. You guys are always good singers, always. Yeah. When I look up. Me, 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 me. Well, Mr. Ryan, you're going to receive your citation and we're going to confiscate the sign from you. He just physically took the sign from me. Let's watch this. Officer, officer, can I get your name and badge number, please? S.J. Murgler. What's your badge number? What did the sign say? So you're taking our personal 
property against the law? He just, Officer Murdler just physically removed my sign. Well, I'll grab another one. You can Google it. Did you see him physically like remove that from my hand? Yeah. I wonder if I got that on video. Yeah. I believe so. Uh, they he just removed the sign. I believe that would be assault. I believe it could also be considered battery because he physically touched me. Yeah. You know? Question for the members. Do officers have rights to physically lay their hands on you and force a hand out of your hand for a citation? Yeah. Officer S.J. Mergler was the one that physically grabbed my hand and pulled the sign out rather forcefully. Sergeant, actually, not officer. Sergeant S.J. Mergler. Just so you all know. What's your badge number, Sergeant Mergler? Badge number is 10. His badge number is 10 with the Capitol Police. Officer James here is our friend. This officer, he's, a, he's a good friend, too. He's been very friendly. He, like no, he physically here. removed it from my hand. He went yeah, and pulled my hand. Yes, I would like to press charges, actually. I'm a witness. Actually. That's how it happened. I was right. right there. There we go. We have a witness. That's illegal. Here's That's my business card. Illegal. Please, uh, yeah, please email me or yeah. give me a call later on so that we can get this taken care of. That's Thank you. Well, he did just physically remove a sign from two disabled people. He did actually physically remove a sign from two disabled people. That's correct. That is correct. One being a vet, and that wouldn't be myself. <laughs> Boo! Speaker of the House Assembly! James! James! Qualified to you why I was the first one in legislative history to call a vote to question before debate is concluded. Because what you say doesn't matter! That's what you say! No matter how many people are outside of my office, I am still going to push through my agenda. I will still see fascism through, and in the end, you will be owned. Hey Jeff! Hey Jeff! Basically, what we're trying to find out is whether we have to arrest you. If you don't have ties to the community, no relatives here, no nothing, because you're an out-of-state person, we would end up having to arrest you to take you to the, and what? take you to jail. What? 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 We're not doing that. We're not doing that. She's got ties to the community. Well, I need to know. Okay, hold on. Would you like us? Mm -hmm. Would you like us to look it up? Mm -hmm. We could find her for you. Other kind of prohibited. Yeah. 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 Yeah.